to his regular season ways, but that is dangerous. And we want you to get on Twitter. Tell us who you're backing. Tweet at LOL Esports with hashtag. Big moment here, big moment. If this gang hits, it's yeah. so big for IDZ. Lightning Rush goes in, but Yang takes so much damage. Revolta now going to have to look for a 1v1. And yeah, the minions are making it far more than that. Revolta Sip. takes so much damage. Yang, he might just be an afterthought kill as the shock blast comes down. Will the Marcus got good flash. What's up? But Westor's turned up and it's going to get the first block. No clue that Mountain's in this, but she smells something, but... Can he actually do it? The Yang's still level 5. Yeah, Spear is actually going to land as well. There's the pounce on the takedown. Trying to get himself out. Good Q from Revolta. Oh. But there's the kick. Flash Mountain flashes his way out, but he's going the wrong way. The flash all to Dawkins gets the stun, and Mountain's going to die. To the pit here, but it's this point right here, the top lane. That's the breaking point of this matchup. We're seeing another Gang come out. Yeah, there's the Maelstrom as Ziv gets stunned oh. up, but he's trying to take it back here. The kick preemptively puts him into the turret, and Revolta will be able to catch up to him. Another pounce comes in, he gets under another turret, but is that going to be enough? Tempered Fate was almost there, but Siv gets the kill. Revolta is underneath them. Oh, good Q, he's still looking for it. Fair bit of damage now as the kick's not oh. one up the minions. They're not there, and Revolta, he's going to be taken down. This chase is so damn big. Exactly the same thing, down to about 300. Oh. The flash pulverizes Yang. He's going to get headbutted away, which makes a bit of sense. Ultimate comes out of Albus' AHQ. There's the arrow, and Albus not going to stay healthy for long. Good exhaust on the Yang as he gets punted out, but Tokas. The lockdown. Mm. Can't take that portal while silenced. Or suppressed for that matter. Revolta here with the cow. There's the arrow on the mount, but in goes Albus. The knockups there. The spear's not going to land as there goes Albus. Dragon Rage kick going to get him out of there. Tokas heading around as well as Revolta getting chased by the cat and the cow. Jockster over the wall. Westor is going to be taken down, but Ziv's going to get revenge. Eventually, there it is. The shutdown actually given to Westor as Mountain. Low health bars, however, so they can't immediately turn towards the Baron. Looking oh, for more. Oh, in goes Mountain. Revolta is going to fall, but that's a trade. And maybe one that INTZ will be happy. With. There it is, eventually a trade. They're yeah. for Jockster. They do have five people up, and there's the head by Pulverized. Talkers should be taken down, throws out a petrifying gaze, and he's not dead yet. Elvis has the ultimate as Yang, very last minute on the Zonyas, and should fall down. Arn's gonna grab that kill. AHQ only able to get one so far as Arn gets kicked back. Revolta trying to do the impossible, picks up the kill, and there's two actually for Macau somehow. Well, Tempered Fate is going to lock it up for the moment. Revolta does have to walk past Ziv and Westor, and they just both explode. Jockster as well. Tokas throws down the ultimate, but it's to Westor's back. And in goes Yang. This is the last ditch effort. The Malzahar falls down, but Tokas should follow. Mountain looking to try and lock that one up, and he's going to get it. AHQ are going to take down everyone but Macau and should be able to finish off the base. Slow and steady eventually kills the base as well. Next is going down. Most certainly is. Arn's going to flash onto Macau because he may as well. Spear! Oh my gosh! Tweeted out towards at LOL Esports. And it's all on the line. EDG need to make a statement here. Because the enemy AD carries put low. Mako and Def need to invest in to push really hard here. Let's see. Going to use double execute. Get the winion push. This is a big mistake by Van der Kamp. There's the big flash. Oh my god! The auto attack grenade, and that's going to be first blood. Because he had the pressure in the mid lane here. Uh, we just know about the bot lane depth. Good man, true. Here, there's Yanko, the exhaust. The Yanko's just going to flash on him. Good pulverize from Mako, but he's still going to die. There's the Q. Yankos grabs another. Well, in goes Mouse. Does get the stun with the equilibrium strike as Yankos comes in. There's the kick underneath the turret. He gets out onto Yankos. Though, can they turn it? Scout grabs the kill. Odoamne is still looking for more, but can't get anything. Just the absurd damage because almost everything went kind of lopsided for EDG. The fact that Scout gets kicked underneath the tower, excuse me, Mouse gets kicked underneath the tower. Scout misses his stun, but Oh, no on. one, there's the flash, the stun comes in. Mouse picks up a kill. Oh, in the bottom lane, the action does not stop as Forgiven's getting hit by the curtain call. He's trying to get out. All the bullets are landing. Vanda has the shield. Do you right now contesting some vision? In the trouble, last... there's the flash. Yankos is going to find his way in. Clear love is most certainly dead. The bottom side of the map, Mouse. Odoamne is going to get equilibrium struck, but there's in Ryu. goes Ryu. He's going to get the slowdown onto Mouse. Hemoplate doing some work. Yankos is going to come in as well. Clear love is down here. Mouse is still alive. Good primal search for that one. And Scout's going to make his way in. Yankos gets speared up to Clear love. Good bullets. And Mako grabs it with the ignite. Ryu still just causing a ruckus here in the back line, but good stun from Scout. Massive pulverize. Ryu just still can't do enough damage, and it's a double kill for Mouse. It's pretty cleanly at the moment as the inhibitor turret falls on the top side. Mouse could still be in trouble as Odoamne oh, just gets surged on. Yankos gets 
stun. Mouse going for the 1v2. Now just looking for the inhibitor as Ryu's turning up. Getting over the side with the blade surge, but he's just buying time for his team. Nexus turret number one is going to go down after the bottom lane inhibitor. And there's the headbutt pole of under Mako. Ryu dealing with it. Decent stun, but the pull comes out. The final stand, the 300 moment. You see Ryu looking for the flank. He's going to get possibly onto Deft here as well as the Equalizer does come down. Lots of damage onto Scout. Good Hemo play because Ryu's got singled out. Still has the pull, remember, as Vanda looking to cause some trouble. Yankos very low as Ryu against the world. In the back line, good headbutt from Mako as Clearlock exhausted, but Primal Search spear lands in the back of the Vampire's head and Mouse going nuts in the back line. Forgiven's going to die on a one man trouble as Deft grabs the last auto attack. And EDG will take down this inhibitor and possibly take down the game. And this is why Mouse has the confidence to say, OK, the Aurelia pick didn't work the first time. Let's go again. That is incredible. EDG, their first truly decisive victory. Okay, so it is likely that Seos is going to group up with an Nivea in the mid lane or just head top. You know, both these... Oh, the cute little wall and perks take so much damage. The cleanse not going to work out. In goes Seos to flash forward, and that's first blood for Kira. Oh. But at this point, you got to flash. Oh, and Mithy now in trouble on the bottom side. Good exhaust under Seos as the brand passive is going to explode. In comes Expect and just chomps down on the brand support. In goes the heroic charge, though, from Smurf, but he gets destroyed in answer as G2, three man squad heading towards ANX. Expect launches forward, catches a cocoon. Up there. Dance around here is trick. Oh, dodges out of the way of the cocoon as oh, PvP nice. Sales gets kicked back to Mithy. The ultimate comes down, but Liquid only gets a couple of bounces, and back in goes the Lee Sin. Good pillar from Expect as PvP Sales is going to be taken down. Another Q lands. They're actually going in for the contestion. Yeah, cute little cocoon is going to land. Liquid getting some damage in. The exhaust comes down, but he's not going to be able to steal it. PvP Sales gets taken. Yep. No vision whatsoever. The Baron down to 3,000, 2,000, 1,000 health. That's going to be Elvis Knox taking another barrier. Oh, standing guard. trouble. Kira's over the wall. The kick comes in. Swarm bang on to Trick. Can't get in there as the Baron is taken down. Trick has no health as well as Smurf's looking for a flank. But... All right, look for the ball. Perks is looking to aggressively defend with a shockwave right here. Especially oh, in goes Kira. Kicks Kira into the shockwave. Still able to get some damage down as Liquid already just solo kills Sven. Massive damage. They've traded one for one. This is the press. Oh, oh Smurf oh, gets no. the juggler out of here. And that's Elder Drake. But Albus Knox, can they start the fight though? They're relatively low. They're trying to get out. Good inspire from Mithy with that mantra for the speed for everyone. No cue to land. There's the flash cocoon. Immediately cleansed from Perks' trick. Caught out of. There's another one from Smurf. The Lee Sin exploits a miracle, gets shockwave, but that's only one target. In goes Theos, the Q, onto Perks, Sven, he's been through Perks as well! Elvis Knox, take three for nothing! Two and one in the group! What beasts from the CIS region! Could come out of this first week of group stages 3-0 and with a win here. Very good. I mean, uh, coming into the tournament, that's what most people uh, They've been able to track the enemy jungles really well, but Peanut actually goes right by it, but Hootie level right one down. Bro. Ray gets hit. Yes, it is the Rome. Hey, predictable. We talked about, yeah, he likes to play this lane aggressively. Oh, they're on Gorilla the now. Move. A few shots coming out of Peacemaker oh, through Gorilla. Oh, and it's going to be Afro Moon that picks up the next kill. Neither of them wants to really give up ground because of the playmaking ability of Teleport. Gets the passive out of Kuro. There's going to be enough. And the voice of light drops. Pray the bodyguard comes in. Six days out of mana and peanut over the wall. Flash knock up onto him. The rest of the team is closing in. New challenges approach oh. from the top side. And that's going to be the prey seeker hit coming in. Beautiful job, Peanut, with the swipes. Gorilla is going to go down as Stixay has fallen as well. And that's damage for CLG that they're not going to have here in this fight. Seems like who he's a bit scattered. Darshan on the outside as they try to drop Peg Prey. They don't have a priority focus here. So and it looks like so the deep. walkout, they can't help Darshan. Prey is an absolute monster. Darshan's not he's done yet, but... I, honestly, that is a highlight prey, like, right? Very I, wise, yeah. almost complete control on the inside track. Aframu! Rox has always been able to answer CLG's kill. Now CLG again wants to answer back. Rinse and repeat as they go to the top side. Really worked for him the last time out, but bringing back the Alistair still going. Snab's gonna be getting hit on this one. He throws back a bit of damage, but who oh. he wants to chase? A few more autos. Six A in range, and Six A picks up the kill. Sure, late game team fighting, but I don't know if we're gonna see a late game.
That's a very good point. This is zero hesitation, CLG. Under the turret could be a little scary for him, and it's gonna be one, two down now. It's Smithy Falls, but it's Takuro and Prey with just about two to 300 health between Huki and Darshan. They're gonna oh, start peanut. backing off. Peanut could get a pop-up, but where's the follow from the rest of Rockstar? Inky. Level 15, nine, zero, oh! two, absolutely blows up Prey. Holy crap. Leaves the rest of the team to do so as they try to get away now. Smeb, Keeper's Verdict, has no say in this fight. And he's gonna be the next focus. A gnar out from Darshan causes the rest of Rocks to turn away. And try and take another inhibitor turret. In. Smeb coming in. Keeper's Verdict, how many does he get? That's gonna be a Smithy. It's Dixay out of the fight. Huki, Afro, Mu, and Darshan. Oh! A huge gnar all, all commit against the wall. Prey now with Dixay 1v1 as he tries to get out of the fight. Kuro and Prey are down. That's the DPS. That's the fight as Rox runs for the fountain for Solace. And Peanut does everything he can going for broke with the last knockup. But Darshan's going to follow him all the way home. And he's going to look for more kills. Showing up on the world stage after having a troublesome season. The rest of CLG coming together as well here to pick up another victory at Worlds to go 2-1 in the first week. Over on Twitter, hashtag SKT win, hashtag Flash Wolves win, hashtag FW win that is. And we will not look fun for MMD in the top lane as he's just getting cooked up. A little back and forth here as Karsa's on the backside of Faker. Voice of light from Maple. There is no alt from Karsa, so Faker flashes over the wall. They're going to be able to connect first blood, though. No rush for that. Oh, Faker. taking Faker back. He did just get that flash shot. They're trying to time it. Throws it back. Oh! The ultimate. Oh, Faker we did it! Right Dodging it! Looks for the movement speed from the Noxious Blast, but it's Maple that's faster. I'm just gonna counter jungle more. Oh, people! Maple down to the bot, flashes right on to try and get the double stun, but they spread. That means they only get a wolf. Good enough, as Flash Rolls has bot lane. That's the thing, right? You know, jungling is so much about good guesses and sure. playing mm -hmm. off the expected natural behavior of your opponent and, you know, this move here from Karsa, he is not going for a Krug steal. Oh. Bonus! There is this little guy here. Might have peaked him. You just say good guess. It's educated guess. It says, wow, okay, Flash Wolves, keep up the pressure. Maybe well, this is the play, finally. Whoa, Faker bashed up against the wall. Voice of light right in his face. Faker goes down. That's 50 seconds on the clock. This is where Flash Wolves have been trying to hit that accelerator. You were talking about Papa Smithy. Wolves going to keep it here, and the rest of the team is going to focus up to the top side. This should be two for Flash Wolves. Kind of winning that game. Or, I'm sorry, you could cover the names. Going to wait for it. And say this team is going to win, not this one. With SKT, it's a toss-up. But right now, being down in gold is not doing them any justice. They cannot mind game the Flash Wolves and continue to go down. 45 seconds for Blank. It doesn't look like it's gonna stop for Flash Wolves. Good trap line there, and Poppy is running Whoa. interference. MMD, this is the same strategy. Really good defense of Baron. Not the Ragnarok, but he's the only one looking for vision. It's Flash Wolves. Right onto Wolf and Faker. They go down immediately, opening up Pandora's box. Flash Very Wolves deep, makes their way into SKT's base. 11 to three now, 37 minutes, just waiting for Duke to come back up so they can take him down again. And the base is broken for SKT. Ask the Guardian Angel to stay in the front. An Elder Dragon equalizer laid out, not hitting too many. It's going to Karsa. Flash Wolves look for the fight with MMD in the back line. Nobody gets stunned up, cannot be disabled Baker. on the side of Blank. And they're on to NL on the backside. Fight as well, Wolf and Sword are going head to head in the support war. Karsa takes down Faker after both the summoners are blown. And that's Duke falling. Flash Wolves have eyes on the base. They're gonna do it. Flash Wolves against SKT. They forced the smite fight the Elder Dragon, and now they're chasing down the kills. Wolf has nowhere to go, MMD is on him, and Maple closing in his sights. But Wolf has won fast karma. It's time, looking to put themselves on the board here in the first week of Worlds, and it's gonna be against SKT in the group. Flash Wolves take down SK Telecom. Could it be any sweeter? The questions were their analysts at home and abroad. Really get loud on Twitter. Hashtag C9 and hashtag I am win. For who you think is going Not to take. Voidless. Here comes Oh, I don't know if Voidless wanted to join this party. Amazing. One more hit. Lane of Voidless is going to be on him. Flash used. Do they have the damage here? Impact uses his just after. Avoid Very low. This is going to be a kill for Impact. 
looking for number two. The two v one is one. Impact teleports in. He's got his ultimate available. He lands the slow. Ooh, the red carpet laid out for Row. They should be able to get out of this pretty nicely. Flash forward from Impact. Another two kills. Uh, Jin Zhao, the AD carry for Ime, up top to deal with the wave, and C9 are gonna dive. Pushing back, Voidless. He tries to flash out of this fight. Parallel Convergence actually locks up Smoothie nicely, but he already has the Unbreakable Will on, and that will be a Voidless going down as he cannot flash away from the danger. They're making sure that the priority targets aren't ones that can get away in these fights, and they are choosing very well. They might just choose the turret to be their next target if Athena's not in range. Coming up from the pool, he stays alive. Amazing J alive on the outside, but everyone is limping away, including C9 here. Jin Zhao picks up a kill there with one of his last bouncing oh. shots. And it is so back in ultimates on the side of C9, but not on the side of Aimei, which means a very big power difference. And there's just the start of it. Athena trying to get in with the Tides of Blood, gets knocked off on there. The curtain call is coming through, but there's really no programs to be delivered from Aimei. Nobody's watching the show. They are just going right back for the fight. Right. Could be amazing. Jay getting a kill. This might be that one time where oh, I may find a chance once again. Smoothie flies into the front. They're dropping on both sides like flies, but it may be I may that's dropping faster. C9 sneaky going in for some more shots, but the skills are still being dodged. Five members up. They could try and force something. A few more scatter the weak outside. Jensen keeps them at. Bay. Here goes the gopher broke from Ime. One down as a voidless falls. They are going to lose Smoothie here, but it may not be one they need to keep as the fight goes on. The damage is on to the champions, not the Nexus turret, which is getting a little hairy for Cloud9, but they will turn their focus to the Nexus. They will turn their focus to a win.